Hello and welcome to this Lightroom tutorial. So the difficulty level of this tutorial will be quite basic, which is great because it will suit um, beginner photographers as well, as well as people who have been using Lightroom for a long time. So um, Lightroom on the computer is actually a paid subscription of £10 a month. So if you don't have that installed yet because you're still unsure or a beginner and not sure if you should invest into the editing process quite that much, here's what I'd recommend. Head over to the App Store and download the Lightroom for mobile app. It's free and it comes with 90% of the features that the full Lightroom has, even the computer one. So um, using just the Lightroom for mobile app, you should be able to follow this tutorial and do a great edit on your phone even. So that's fantastic. Okay, I should also mention this is not a paid uh, endorsement by Adobe. I just genuinely feel that way. Um, I think Adobe Lightroom is a fantastic editing tool and let's leave it at that. So, um, I've been rambling quite a bit and the theme for this tutorial will be black and white and red photos. So, um, this is actually one of the most frequently asked questions on Instagram. Philip, how do you get these shots? These are um, shots I take in London with the iconic red London buses and the background is completely black and white. So um, it makes the bus really pop and stand out and it gives it a, like, a signature style edit and um, yeah, it's quite popular on Instagram and I hope just popular in general. So I thought I'd share that technique with you and hopefully you can edit photos like this yourself in the future. So what I try to do differently in my tutorials is that I want to take you with me uh, from beginning to end as I take the photo and for that we should head out on location I'll show you all the thought process that goes into taking the photo, even before we start editing. Let's go! And welcome to Regent Street. Uh, this is the location I've chosen to take this photo and I think it's perfect. Let me show you why I think it's perfect condition-wise. So the reason why this place is so perfect to take this specific shot is because today is uh, grey weather. And since this is a black and white photo anyway, that's the perfect weather to take the shot. Furthermore, because the um, it's so cloudy, it diffuses the sunlight and you get very little shadows and um, harsh highlights in the buildings. So it makes for a very balanced photo, which is perfect for this editing technique. Now next, um, if you look at the facade of the buildings, they're kind of uh, plain and not very colorful anyway, so a black and white shot looks really stunning. And now lastly, we just need to wait for some buses. Get the camera in position and snap away. This would actually be perfect right now. Okay, so I'm very happy with the photo I took. Let's head into Lightroom and then I'll show you how to edit it. And we're back. I hope you enjoyed that little excursion to Regent Street and let's get editing. So some people refer to this technique as color splash. I think of it more as color isolation. I guess it doesn't matter what you call it. The most important thing is how it's done. Let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you just how. So here's the photo I've chosen and this is the bus I want to uh, keep in color and the rest of the photo I want to be black and white. So, um, since I only want to focus on one specific editing technique, I'm not going to show you all the basic adjustments. But here they are anyway. That's the before photo, and that's the after photo. So they're not really worlds apart anyway. One important thing I should point out is, um, don't make any split turning adjustments. Keep these completely desaturated for the best results. Now the um, editing technique that I want to focus on and show you guys in Lightroom is the HSL section which is this one right here. It allows you to control um, every color individually. And the most important thing we're focusing on is saturation. Since we want um, the bus to stay red and the rest of the photo to be black and white. So you can pick any color you want. Um, I find that red works best and um, since London buses are red, it is the obvious choice for this photo. You could use blue or green, but yeah, from past experience I'd say red works best. So um, it helps to give a red a bit of more of an extra boost. Not don't overkill it. Maybe twenty or so, but not more. And now the key part is all the other colors. We need to move to minus a hundred, i.e., completely saturate them. And if you look at the photo, as I strip out one color after the other, 
the remainder of the photo should slowly start to turn to black and white. With blue gone, all this disappears as well. And remove the purple as well, and lastly the magenta. Okay, so now the photo is left with only red and white and black, and that's already 90% of the work done, and the photo is already looking dramatically different. Um, and you can do all of this, like I said, in the Lightroom for mobile app, and the results are pretty good already, but um, if you want to perfect it a bit further, you do unfortunately need the full version, and um, as you can see, by stripping out all the colors except for red, we're still left with a few. So, um, over here, you can see this lady's shopping bag, some red pants over here, red shoes, and we really don't want that in our photo. So, um, I'll show you how to just clean up the photo and get rid of these remaining little red bits. So, in order to do that, we'll head up here and select an adjustment brush. Now, um, you want all the adjustments set to zero, except for the saturation, which you'll set to minus 100 to strip out any color of what you paint over. Another thing you should put, um, select is go to the feather, because you want an extremely hard brush. You want either the, the bit that you brush to be black and white, and the bits that you don't brush to be color. You don't want an uh, in-between kind of blended fade. So that's why we keep the feather down to zero and uncheck auto mask as well. Now I'm um, just going to make the brush a tiny bit bigger and then we'll start painting. So everything I'm going to paint now is going to turn to black and white. Watch as I paint over these people in the street. That should strip out the colors really great. And by the way if you hit O on your keyboard you can toggle in and out what you've already painted which is a great way of keeping track of which areas you've affected and which ones you haven't. So if I hit O, that's the picture, and then O again, and it shows me what I've already painted. So I'll keep doing that until I've painted the entirety of a photo, except for the bus, of course, which is the bit I do want to keep in color. You don't have to be 100% accurate. I mean, you'll see where the red bits are and those that you, the bits that you want to get rid of. Okay, so just going to keep doing that until only the bus is left. Now you can see there's a little flag over here that's still got a tiny bit of red in, and because the brush is so big, um, I can't really brush right now because I'd stripped the color out of a bus. But using uh, Command Plus on the keyboard and navigating over here, if you zoom in, you can get a lot closer and then just fine-tune the, fi the final last bits, strip out the color over here, and the flag was a bit of an eyesore as well, I felt. So, a bit of red left over here, and most importantly the flag. Let's brush all over there. Yep. Yeah. Let's head back out and zoom in, hitting the fit, zoom out I mean, hitting the fit button. I'm going to hit O again to show you the final result. And as you can see, the entire remainder of the street is now black and white. And we only have the bus left in red. So I love this effect. And um, if you think this is a great edit and something that stands out for you, do let me know in the comments below and let me know if you would have done anything differently. I'd be curious and interested to find out. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching, and most importantly, I hope you learned something and discovered some new uh, functionality of Lightroom. So, I challenge you to get out there, get shooting, and um, try this editing technique out yourself. And if you do, and you're happy for results, and you end up uploading these on Instagram, I'd love it if you tag me, because I'd love to see the photos. Lastly, um, if you have any great suggestions for future videos, or any other t editing techniques you'd like me to teach you, please let me know in the comments below, and uh, hopefully that will be inspiration for a future video. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog right here. I hope you enjoyed watching, 
And if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.